from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Media News Brief. St. Lucia is poised to reap increased benefits from the Canada-Caribbean Seasonal Agricultural Workers Program. Minister for Infrastructure, Ports, Energy and Labour, Honorable Stevenson King, met with the counterpart ministers from the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS, and officials of the Eastern Caribbean Liaison Service to discuss the program. The meeting was held with the aim of considering improvements to be made in the near future. Labour ministers and other government officials of OECS member states, including St. Lucia's Minister for Labour, Honorable Stevenson King, lauded the program, indicating that it has been very beneficial to their countries. The Labour Minister explained that the entity has reached a point where institutional strengthening is required to allow it to go into the field in a more dynamic way through the improvement in manpower. He added that although the primary focus of the service is on the agricultural sector, it should explore other sector opportunities such as hospitality, health construction and manufacturing which according to him is laden with opportunity. Businesses within the city of Castries are being advised against placing signs on sidewalks, creating a hazard for pedestrians, especially those with disabilities. While these signs are placed daily by business houses to attract customers, the office of the mayor has received numerous complaints regarding the placement of those business signs. Castries Mayor Peterson Francis says that the signs are not simply an aesthetic concern, but also create problems for people with disabilities who must navigate around them. The office of the mayor is reminding that under section 493 of the Criminal Code, chapter 3.01 of the revised laws of St. Lucia 2013, a person who places hangs up or exposes for sale in any city or town, any goods, wares, merchandise, matter or thing into or over any footway so as to obstruct or inconvenience the passage of any person is liable on summary conviction to a fine of 1,000 EC dollars. The Government of St. Lucia and the United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF, signed a Memorandum of Understanding to formalize plans for the implementation of St. Lucia's second Multiple Indicator Cluster Survey. It is one of the largest sources of statistical information on the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, particularly on children, women, men and the households they live in. The survey will be conducted during September to November 2019 and is expected to provide data on 33 SDG indicators. A sample of 3,000 households will be selected to include all districts on a range of topics in education, safety and protection, health and nutrition, water and sanitation, and multidimensional poverty. This has been your Media News Brief. Thank you for watching.